Hello everybody, this is Potter Brony, and welcome to another episode of Ruby, Season 2, Episode 6, Burning the Candle. Um, I'm not really sure what that title is supposed to mean. Uh, I don't know if the saying, burning the candle at both ends, would be, uh, I don't know, maybe it has something to do with studying, or, who knows, I'm, again, it is a school, so... Let's just see, find out what happens in three, two, one, go. Maybe I could use this time, though, uh, ask a question. Maybe I could look it up later, I don't know. Uh, if anybody knows when the next season is supposed to be starting, I mean, I think uh, I'm going to be pretty well caught up anyway. I only have a few more to go through. But, who knows? I just feel awkward not saying anything. I'm supposed to be doing a commentary. <laughs> All right, so let's get it going. I need you to pick a tablecloth. Uh, Are they both the same? Yes. Yeah, I don't even know why I asked. You would think that. <laughs> so, have you picked out a dress yet? What's the point? Who cares about the dance if Blake isn't going? Oh, don't worry. She's going. What? She just doesn't know totally it yet. Agreed. No doilies. If I don't get doilies, you don't get fog machines. Your dance is gonna have fog machines? We were thinking about it. That's pretty cool. You ladies all excited for dress up? Yeah, right. Laugh all you want. I'll be turning heads tomorrow night. What are you two wearing? <laughs> uh, this? Ignore him, for he knows not what he says. <laughs> hey, I may have moved to Mistral. I agree with I grew him. up in Vacuo. It's not exactly a shirt and tie kind of place. Yeah, we've noticed. So, uh, what does Blake think of all this? She's still being all, you know, Blakey. Obviously. I still can't think of a way to change her mind. Guys, trust me. Blake will be at the dance tomorrow. What have you done? Is it a cat following a laser beam? Is she seriously trying to step on it, or is she just following it? Hello! What do you... We need to talk. Figures. Yeah! <laughs> huh? We need to talk. Huh? Ren. Okay. I'm just gonna come out and say it. You are one of my best friends. These past few months, I feel like we've really bonded. Even though you don't say much. I mean, you're really quiet. To be perfectly this is honest, I don't know. Sounding much pretty awkward, pal. Me, but darn it, I consider you to be the brother I never had. And I you. Which is why I <laughs> wanted to get your advice on girls. Girls. I just don't know how to Girls, um, I, I guess what I'm asking is, well, how did you and Nora, you know? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, we're not actually Say what now? Together, together. Nora, I said 
get headphones on! Sean, what is this all about? <sighs> it's Weiss. I'm completely head over heels for her, and she won't even give me a chance. She's cold, but she's also incredible. She's smart and graceful and talented. I mean, have you heard her sing? I just wish she'd take me seriously, you know? I, I wish I could tell her how I feel without messing it all up. Then do it. Uh, what? Tell her exactly what you've just said. No ridiculous schemes, no pickup lines. Just be honest. But what if- John. You can't get it wrong if it's the truth. Uh, it's gotta suck for you to have to say that to him. Right. Thanks, Pira. Good talk, Ren. <sighs> Practice what you preach, Pira. Yep. Yang, if you're going to tell me to stop, you may as well just save your breath. I don't want you to stop. I want you to slow down. We don't have the luxury to slow down. It's not a luxury, it's a necessity. The necessity is stopping Torchwick, and we're going to. But first you have to sit down and listen to what I have to say. Fine. Let's get it over Sophie with. And I grew up in Patch, an island just off the coast of Vale. Our parents were huntsmen. Our dad taught at Signal, and our mom would take on missions around the kingdom. Her name was Summer Rose. And she was like, super mom. Baker of cookies and slayer of giant monsters. And then, one day she left for a mission and never came back. It was tough. Ruby was really torn up, but I think she was still too young to really get what was going on, you know? And my dad just kind of shut down. It wasn't long before I learned why. Summer wasn't the first love he'd lost. She was the second. The first was my mom. He wouldn't tell me everything. But I learned that the two oh. of them had been on a team together with Summer and Crow. And that she'd left me with him just after I was born. No one had seen her since. Why did she leave you? <sighs> that question. Why? I didn't know the answer, but I was determined to find out. It was all I thought about. I would ask anybody I could what they knew about her. Then, one day, I found something. What I thought was a clue that could lead me to answers. Or maybe oh, even my mother. This is a good art style here. I like this. I waited for Dad to leave the house, put Ruby in a wagon, and headed out. I must have walked for hours. I had cuts and bruises. I was totally exhausted. But I wasn't going to let anything stop me. When we finally got there, I could barely stand. But I didn't care. I had made it. And then I saw them. Those burning red eyes. There we were, a toddler asleep in the back of a wagon and a stupid girl too exhausted to even cry for help. We might as well have been served on a silver platter. But as luck would have it, our uncle showed up just in time. Oh, is this Crow? I want to hear more about him. Killed that night. Yang, I'm sorry that happened to you, and I understand what you're trying to tell me, but this is different. I'm not a child, and this isn't just to search for answers. I can't just. I told you, I'm not telling you to stop. I haven't. To this day, I still want to know what happened to my mother and why she left me, but I will never let that search control me. We're going to find the answers we're looking for, Blake. But if we destroy ourselves in the process, then what good are we? You don't understand. I'm the only one who can do this. No, you don't understand. If Roman Torchwood walked through that door, what would you do? I'd fight him. You'd lose. I can't stop him. You can't even stop me. I'm not asking you to stop. But just please, get some rest. Not just for you, but for the people you care about. Damn. That's some truth knocked down on you. And if you feel like coming out tomorrow, 
I'll save you a dance. This is a little unorthodox, but I wanted to ask you something. Would you like to accompany me to the dance tomorrow? Oh. Just a tie. Not, not any kind of fancy other clothes. Just put a tie on. <laughs> so, does this mean we're going together? Technically. That my first dance is spoken for. I would totally dress like that guy if I could get away with it. <laughs> if it was me. I told you she would come. Mission accomplished. So, what do we do now? Just have fun! Does that mean I can change out of these stupid things and into my hood now? No, no that's not what it means. <laughs> not enjoying yourself? Oh, no. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm just not much of a fancy, pansy, fancy girl. Well, you can't spend your entire life on the battlefield, even if you may want to. Yeah, that lesson's been floating around a lot lately. If you think about it, fighting and dancing aren't so different. Two partners interlocked, <laughs> although one wrong move on the ballroom merely leads to a swollen foot. Or a twisted ankle. It's not every day that friends are able to come together like this. Time has a way of testing our bonds, but it's nights like these that can help keep them stronger than ever. Nights like these are ones we'll never forget. Hmm. You guys are just in time. Wouldn't miss it for the world. And here comes the drama. And next episode, I guess. So I guess Burning the Candle, as the title being uh, about her exhaustion or not enjoying herself or taking things too seriously. I'm not sure exactly what they meant by it, but it was a good episode. Uh, a lot of character development, some backstory. I like that. That's always a plus. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it doesn't always have to be, you know, action and fighting and shit, but this was definitely enjoyable. Uh, so yeah. I'm just going to end this one here. I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And, uh, yeah, so yeah, take care. Bye.